In this lesson, you will learn how to create a test runner for ELM Octane. In our example, we will use Maven Seerfire project to create a test runner. In order to create a test runner, make sure your CI server is integrated into ELM Octane and you need to create a dedicated job in your CI server. In our case, it will be Jenkins. So let's go into Jenkins. Here you can see I have already a pipeline for my testing framework created in ALM Octane, which is executing basically all the test cases I have in my testing framework from ALM Octane and also reporting back all the results. And now the test runner is needed to execute only dedicated test cases, which I select from ALM Octane. Therefore, I need to create a dedicated job in order to control the test runner. Let's click on new item, give it a name. So let's say we have Maven Seerfire Test Runner. It's a freestyle project. So the first thing I need to do here is this project needs to be parameterized and you need to add a parameter for the test cases which are passed from LM Octane. This is of a type string. So let's enter here tests with s to run. And the second step, you need to add a build step for ALM, ALM Octane testing framework converter. This makes sure that the test cases which are passed through the tests to run parameter are converted into the correct format of your testing framework, which you will select from here. We will go with Maven Seerfire testing project. Let's select it here. And if you want, you can validate your test to run directly from here. Now, as a next step, I need to invoke my Maven top level goals and provide here the POM file I have. Enter the full pass to your POM file and also provide the goals which should be executed. So here, this is the goals we are going to run. We want to run the test which are passed from the test to run parameter. And if there are test cases which fail, we will still continue the test execution and run other test cases which are in the sequence. Now as a last build step, you need to add the test results and move them to the right place in your workspace. So here I'm just moving the test runner XML, which is a JUnit created by the Seerfire to my um, workspace on the, on the slave where Jenkins is running in order to be able to publish the test results on Jenkins. Once this is completed, as a last step, add publish JUnit test result report and point to the correct format of your file. So I will just Format on the XML file, which is here. And this is the only XML file I have. Once this is done, save your configuration. And now your test runner is prepared. As a next step, we need to go to ELM Octane, go to Settings and Spaces, go to the DevOps section, select Test Runners. Add a new test runner, give it a name, name and Seerfire. Select here what kind of framework you are using. So I will be using here JUnit. Select the correct CI server. And now Octane will show you only the jobs which has the test to run parameter. So you select the correct job you have just configured and save it in LM Octane. Now your test runner is set and you are able to execute 
test cases from ALM Octane. So let's go back to the project. In the pipelines module, we have already our full set of tests integrated as a pipeline. And I have now few failures in this pipeline. And I would like to execute only these two test cases which have been failed and not the whole pipeline because it may be time consuming. So let's go into the quality module to identify these two test cases and put them into a test suite in order to just test the specific area which has failed and now the fix has been provided and applied to your environment and you are ready to rerun those two test cases. So let's do it. Go to the quality module. Let's say we create here a new suite. Test for testing framework, we will call it. Add and edit. And now add the two test cases which failed. So register and update, I will add. Because I just want to run these two test cases. So let's say add. And now look for the column test runners. And in the test runner, select the correct runner for your two test cases, which are in ALM Octane. So let's say we select the test runner Maven Surefire. And this is set. Now I'm able to run these, the whole suite from here, from ALM Octane, in order to perform the test execution. So let's do it. Let's run directly. We'll see it will create for me a test execution for the suite and I'm able to track it from here. So my test runner is just being initialized and I can go to my environment in order to see the execution. It will start now two times the Chrome browser and perform the test execution directly, which I have selected in ELM Octane. So these are Selenium test cases, which are running um, from ELM Octane from the quality module. So now run is completed and I should see a test update directly in Octane. So let's go back. And here I can see now one test, test case has passed and the other one has failed. I can drill down on further details here and see what the error was. So here I was not able to click an element, but at the end I was able to execute the test directly from ALM Octane. And for further details, I can either click, uh, click here on show in Jenkins or show all details uh, which will be collected directly in ALM Octane. And you will see here what was the root cause of the error. The, the test runners are a great way to execute dedicated and selected tests, automated tests directly from ALM Octane um, from any testing framework you may have in your test testing environment.